guys. We have a raptor with brain worms. <laughs> Let's just take him out. Oh no, don't you dare. No, get away from me. No, oh my God. These things are so annoying. Stop it. Stop. Oh my goodness. I hate them so much. I hate you guys so much. Get out of here. Oh, he took my pike and my sign. Hey everyone, it's your Admiral here. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you see that? There was a poop in midair. Oh my goodness, my Pegamastax is being quite rude today, you guys. But, you guys, I wanted to bring you back and just say a couple of words about Lady Luck, our Trundon, who died right in this very spot. If you remember from the last episode, we tried to tame an RG, and we tried to do it too soon, you guys. We lost our brand new Pteranodon that we had just tamed, and I still feel really sad about it, you guys. I don't know what we were thinking, you guys, feeling like we could take on a level 150 RG, like that was just dumb, you guys. <laughs> but I think today what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to try and get another Tronodon. We desperately need one. I feel like we're really, really limiting ourselves if we don't have a flyer, you guys, and that's like our number one priority right now. So I think now that we're kind of set up, we have some stuff. I have a spyglass and stuff, so we're actually much more prepared now than we ever were in this game. <laughs> I think we're going to head out. We're going to look for Tronodon and we're gonna try and tame the first one we see and we will probably get into some adventures along the way because I mean come on it's the Admiral playing Ragnarok <laughs> of course there's gonna be trouble brewing <laughs> oh my goodness you guys look at this there's a lead sick these it's in our bay that is so bizarre you guys now I'm pretty sure I saw an alpha megalodon in the water I don't think my eyes were deceiving me. I'm pretty sure I saw it, you guys, which means crossing this water is a big no-no. <laughs> I mean, I circled around the edge of the beach and there was a lot of bad stuff, you guys. I saw T-Rexes, I saw a lot of bad things, but I decided to come over to this side where we had spawned in initially because um, I felt like it was a bit safer over here. So I'm going to have a look and see if we can find any Trandons over here that we can tame. What level are you? 15? Oh man, we don't need a level 15 Pteranodon. That's terrible, you guys. Oh, there's another one over there. What level are you? Oh, it's a level 50. Oh, that might work, you guys. That might work. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, it's going to be really hard to do this without hitting something else. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's so many stuff here so many things here you guys oh I got it I got it are you the one yes you are the one okay okay let's knock this guy out oh it's out <laughs> that's awesome you guys okay so let's go grab some meat off our guy I mean a level 50 isn't the worst it's probably the highest I've seen today so far so I mean it could obviously be a lot better but all I have to tame it with is meat anyway just regular meat so it's not as if it's going to be an awesome tame anyway, you guys. What level are you? Oh, you're that 15. Okay, I'm getting super confused now. <laughs> Alright, so let's just tame this guy up. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. And in the meantime, we'll keep a look at and see if there's any other higher level Tranodods in the area. But I don't really see anything, you guys. Oh, there is a 90 over here. Hmm, I wonder if we can get that 90, you guys. Let me see. So let's just go over there and see if it lands. If it lands, we can knock that guy out. Oh, here's the 90, guys. Here's the 90. Oh, something's attacking our guy. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Get out of my way. Stupid Pegomastax ruining everything. Ugh. I hate you, Pegomastax. You're the worst. <laughs> Now, I wonder if this guy is going to come back to us. Let's just wait and see. Guys, we might be able to get some prime meat off the stego. Do you think we should try attacking it? Let's try. Let me get some stamina back. And we are going to try attacking this guy. Oh, wow. It's doing a lot of damage to me. Oh, my goodness. Come back here, stego. Oh no. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. I think we've almost killed it. Yay, we did it, you guys. 
We did it, we did it. Okay, okay, awesome. So let's get some prime off this guy. Oh, you guys, look at this. I was kind of just wandering around looking to see if there was any higher level Tyranodons and I'd killed a Stego and got some Prime, but we have tamed our Tyranodon. That's amazing, you guys. That didn't even take much time. That is awesome. Okay, so we have a level 74 right here. So you can come with me, Tyranodon. And I think now that we're here, we may as well tame another one, guys, just in case. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we lost our first Tyranodon so quickly. So let's just go back over here. I want to see if I can tame that level 90 that I'd seen over here, because I do have some prime meat on me. I think that would be an awesome tame for us, you guys. So let's just go back over here and see if that level 90 is landed. Oh, it's coming in for a landing, you guys. Okay, so let's just see. Hopefully it lands and I'll be able to... Oh, there's bad stuff running towards me. I wonder what that is, you guys. I always get super nervous <laughs> when I see stuff like that running in the distance. Hopefully our Tyranodon's going to be okay over there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, come on, guy. Come back over land. I want to tame you. Oh, this level 90 is stupid, you guys. It's literally flying over the water. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in time before the prime meat spoils. So why don't we just go back to the female that we saw that was kind of stuck in the bushes over there and we can tame her instead. So come on, guys. Follow me. We're actually doing quite well so far. I feel like I may have jinxed it now that I've said it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get this one, you guys. We did it, we did it! Okay, okay, I think this is the right one. It's a level 55 female. Okay, so let's see if we can knock her out. Oh, she's out! That's awesome, you guys! Okay, okay, so let's go back, let's get some prime meat, and then we can tame her up. It is gonna be awesome, you guys! And then, once we have some kibble and stuff, we can look for a level 150, you guys. That is gonna be epic. Oh, you guys! Oh, you guys! I found a, I found another one. I found a better one. Okay, let's get this one. Okay, okay. Let's get you instead. She's a level 85. <laughs> okay. And she's out. That's awesome. Okay, okay. Oh no, all our prime meat spoiled, you guys. Oh man. I think I was like seconds too late, you guys. Oh no. Did you guys attack my guy? You better not have. Get out of my way! Stop it! I really hope they didn't attack you, did they? Oh, we're not going to know until she eats you guys. So hopefully they didn't attack her. <laughs> so I ended up downing this one as well, over here. This was a level 55, but you know what? She's kind of lame. <laughs> Compared to our level 85, that's for sure. So let's go back to our guys over here. Let's bring them over. I'm just kind of sad that we lost all our prime, you guys. We could have got some extra levels. Come on, dude. Oh, you guys, there's a Carno over there. Oh, some Stegos killed a Carno right over there. Let's go see if we can chop that one up for some meat. Thank you so much, Stegos. You guys are awesome. Okay, so let's just kill this guy here. Okay, so guys, we're not doing too bad. It said 99.9% .9 taming effectiveness. It did already eat some of the regular meat, but I put some prime meat on it. So thank you so much, Stegos. They killed a Carno for me over there. So that was awesome, you guys. So now we're going to have two Pteranodons. We've got this level 74 male. <gasps> we did it, you guys. We tamed it up. That is awesome. Oh my goodness, you're level 127. You are going to be amazing. All right, you guys, so let's bring both of our Tyranodons home. I'm super afraid that somebody's going to kill them, as long as we don't get stuck on everything on the way home. That would be amazing, you guys. <laughs> oh, I think I leveled up. That is awesome, you guys. What do you think we should level up? I've actually just been giving myself some more fortitude because I'd heard that the cold and stuff is, like, really, really intense over here, so... Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> there was a stego that went flying through the air. What in the world was that? Did you see that? I swear I wasn't making that up. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I think I'm gonna make my very, very slow and painful way home. And if we get home without any incident, I'll bring you guys right back. <laughs> oh no, you guys. Oh no, you guys, there's a Karn over there. Do you think we can take it out? It's a level 25. 
I think it should be fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure I killed a Karno that was way higher level than this one. So why don't we see if we can take this guy out? He's in the way anyway. I'm sorry, Karno, but you're just gonna have to die. <laughs> oh, he's headed straight for us. Come on, Trike. I believe in you. It's a cool looking Karno, though, I must say. Oh, it's getting bloody. It's gonna die. <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. Okay, okay. That is so cool. I love my trike. You've lived through a lot of stuff, trike. That's amazing. I was convinced that you're gonna be like some kind of expendable, terrible kind of trike, but it's actually been doing really, really well for me so far. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are actually back at base with our two brand new pteranodons. Now we got home without too much incident. We had to kind of get into fight with some dillos, but apart from that, expendable, you did great. She has actually ended up being so much more useful than I thought she would be. I mean, I kind of feel bad for calling her expendable now. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we've named our two new pteranodons, Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, how cute is that, you guys? Now, I've plugged Bonnie's stats into the Dodo decks, and she actually is pretty awesome, you guys. She's above average with all her stats, except Oxygen, which is just average, which is kind of what we want. So I think we got ourselves a winner, you guys. That's amazing. Now, as for Clyde, you guys, obviously he's much lower level. He just ended up with kind of average health and below average Oxygen along with average food but kind of above average and everything else so i think we did good today you guys clyde is just going to be our backup pteranodon for now and bonnie's going to be like our main girl and you guys they're made boosted so if we actually end up getting some pteranodon eggs we'll be able to tame up a high level turtle which might be cool okay you guys so we have spent long enough cooped up in here i think we should go out and explore a little bit what do you guys think oh my goodness it's so amazing that we can fly again you guys this is awesome i'm so happy oh 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 do not fly straight into the arms of another rg you guys <laughs> i wonder what level you are hold on a minute what level are you guy level 25 oh you're crap <laughs> oh my goodness guys there's a level 140 pteranodon over here i actually think it's not going to be a problem at all to find high level stuff there seems to be so much of it on ragnarok which i think is amazing you guys so we're going to have a little bit of a fly around. I've basically just kind of taken a left over where I live. And it's just really, really cool finally being able to explore a little bit, you guys. And the map is beautiful. And one of the things I've noticed is that there's metal everywhere. I mean, there's metal literally strewn all over the place. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> um... And there's tons of really cool places that you can build. I mean, look at this huge flat area. And you can easily wall this off and have a house over here. Nothing would even be able to get across to you. I mean, we have so many exciting prospects, you guys. I wonder where I'm going to end up relocating. Because I do want to move eventually. I don't think that cave where we live just now is where I want to stay forever. I mean, that's kind of boring, don't you think, you guys? What are these? There's some weird plants, like seaweed or something in the water. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. What are you? There's like some blue flowers over here. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, these are rare flowers? Oh my goodness, is this a new thing, you guys? They're just kind of growing in the in the ground? What, what, what? <laughs> That's amazing, you guys. Look at this. <gasps> That's incredible. I've never seen this before. I was flying over here and I thought that it was crystal or something. But then when I came near, I was like, oh, they're like little blue flowers. That is awesome, you guys. I didn't know that. This whole map is just super exciting to me, you guys. I'm just like, there's stuff everywhere that I want to look at. Oh, there's another 130. There's like high levels everywhere. I want to tame. If we see 150, you guys, I'm definitely taming it. I want a perfect pteranodon. I think I'm going to fly over to Blue Obelisk and see if there's anything interesting over there. Look at this, you guys. What is this? There's metal everywhere. Oh my goodness, guys. I love this map. I'm totally in love with this map. <laughs> I can't wait till it's finished. Like, it has so much potential. I mean, look at these amazing structures. What? What even is this? Oh, I see some rare flowers. Oh, I see obsidian. Oh, this might be a good time to actually gather some up because I haven't seen obsidian yet so far. Now, at the moment, I'm roughly around 2020 and there's like a huge big hole here, kind of like a butthole <laughs> in the rock. But there's obsidian here, there's rare flowers here, and it's pretty awesome. And there's metal kind of strewn everywhere, just randomly around the place. 
I think what I might do is pump a little bit of weight on this pteranodon because I have nothing else to carry stuff for me initially so I would like for her to just be able to carry a little bit more and look at these flowers they're actually really beautiful you guys is this something that's only on Ragnarok you guys it would be amazing if you could let me know in the comments because I have never seen this on the island. I mean, it's very beautiful and it's a really cool idea as well. Guys, I'm just over Blue Obelisk right now. And on the map, you guys, we are at roughly 2015. And you guys, this is what some of my subscribers were telling me, that there's loot crates near the water. Guys, let's just stop and check these out. I wonder what's in them. I'm so curious. Now, I can't access them, so I'm guessing that we need to bust these open. Oh my gosh, guys, I got a bow and a metal hatchet. That's so cool. That is awesome, you guys. I got a sword. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder if these things respawn. If so, that would be awesome. I got a shield. I got another sword. That is so cool. And this one had a another pick and some shields. It seems to be a lot of the same stuff that we're getting, to be honest, you guys. But it's actually pretty good for early game. <laughs> There's more over here in the water. Oh my god, this is so exciting, you guys. Okay, okay, let's go see what's in them. This one had a primitive crossbow, a primitive pike. I've got so many pikes. This is amazing, you guys. <laughs> but you guys, I was thinking, this skeleton kind of thing worked really well for us when we tamed the trike. I mean... Imagine if we'd turned this into a taming pen. I feel like if we just put up some pillars and things and maybe a gate, it could easily be a really, really awesome looking taming pen. And this actually, by the way, was an idea given to me by one of my subscribers. So I think that actually might be a really, really fun project for us to work on, you guys. Guys, we've made some more advancements, you guys. Look what I've just crafted. We now have black armor, you guys. Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to show you guys this. Look at this, we have flax so early. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. I think what I'm gonna do next is really focus on maybe making a long neck rifle. I don't think we're high enough level right now to learn the trank darts. I don't think we are. Yeah, you have to be level 62, but to be honest, we're actually not far from that. So I think we'll be able to make trank darts soon enough and we're gonna start being able to knock out like RGs and high level dinos so much easier now. It's gonna be awesome, you guys. Oh, you guys, look at this. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about in Ragnarok, and it's the fact that these branches that are on the ground, when you pick them up, you get wood. <laughs> How weird is that, you guys? It's actually pretty cool, and I didn't realize that until now when I was coming over here just to gather up some stone, but it's actually pretty neat. There's just so many cool little things like this in Ragnarok that I haven't... Oh! Oh my goodness! Stupid Pegomastax, don't you dare! Come back here! Gosh, I hate those things. It totally ran off with my demo gun. <laughs> oh, is there something else over here? What is going on here? What is attacking us? Oh my god. There's so much bad stuff here all the time. <laughs> Just kind of sneaking up on you at all times. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, you guys. Stupid bugs. I hate them so much. Oh, oh, oh. You guys, you guys. There's an RG over here. What level is this thing? Oh, it's a 95 RG. That's actually not bad. But I think, guys, I think I'm going to hold out for a level 150 again because we came so close to taming one before and I feel like I wouldn't be doing it justice if I tamed a lower level guy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Even with 26 fortitude, I'm actually losing health because of the cold. That's insane, you guys. At night time? Oh wow, I wonder how much fortitude you need then in this game to kind of get by. I'm thinking at least 30, maybe even 40, because I feel like we're going to have to craft up some fur armor soon, because otherwise how are we going to survive, you guys? We can't even survive the nights here. And that's in our safe little base area, you guys. That's insane. Oh my goodness. Oh no, get near the fire. <laughs> Let's just warm up. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at these allosauruses. They're so creepy looking. Oh my goodness. There's a level 55 over there, but I'm so scared of them, you guys. We will tame one eventually. I think the reason they're so scary is because they're practically the same size as a T-Rex. <laughs> so I've just kind of flown over here waiting for this drop to land. And I've just kind of been gathering up some metal, some stones, so we can kind of get started on our little taming pen. Okay, okay, let's see what's in this drop. Please be something good. 
Oh, it's just kind of useless stuff, you guys. <laughs> guys, guys, I kind of really want a Listro, you guys. <laughs> we had one before, but then it... Oh, look at this, you guys. You can get cactus sap from these plants. Did you guys know that? Oh, no. Don't you dare. No, get away from me. No. <laughs> oh, my God. These things are so annoying. Stop it. Stop. Oh, my goodness. I hate them so much. I hate you guys so much. Get out of here. Oh, you took my pike and my sign. Come back here. You jerks. Why are these guys so annoying? Stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. Oh no, you didn't. Where did it go? These things are like the most annoying. Oh god. I hate Pegamastax, guys. They are my new most hated creature <laughs> in Ark. <laughs> At least we got our pike back, you guys. That's terrible. I would have been so upset if they stole my trank arrows again. God, they're so annoying. But yeah, you guys, coming back to what I was saying earlier, you can actually get cactus sap from these things. That's so cool, you guys. That's awesome. I wonder what these plants give you. Oh, these ones just give you regular berries. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so we're going to be able to tame up our Lister right here, which is awesome, you guys. <laughs> All right, buddy. You can be my friend forever and ever, and you can be the replacement for the Lister that died <laughs> that I didn't even get a chance to name. I don't know what it is about the Listros. I just think they're so cute. I mean, look how cute their little butts are. <laughs> now, you guys, this little Listro is mate boosted, so I know that it has a little buddy somewhere nearby, but I think it'll be kind of pointless for us to tame it out in the field because I'm going to have to come back all the way here and pick it up. Though, to be honest, I don't think there's anything bad over here, so we probably could do it. <laughs> Yay, we did it, you guys. Okay, okay. So let's name you, let's give you a name straight away. <laughs> I'm going to call you Lissa. Lissa, I just thought of that on the spot. I have no idea where I, that came from. I have no idea where that came from, but it's a cute name. And here you go. You can have some berries and you can just stop following me and then we'll bring this little lady home. Oh, there's the other guy. I wonder what level you are. If you're a high level, we may as well tame you as well. Oh, you're only a 15. <laughs> so, Liza, I feel like you can do better than a level 15. So let's just bring her home and we'll find up a male for her. And then we can tame up those two guys. Did I get you? Oh, we totally did. And she's very pretty as well. And that way we'll have some XP boosting dinos because I feel like we're going to be doing a lot of crafting. I want to work on the taming pen next time. I want to work on our greenhouse and our buildings. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's a level 130 Sabertooth fighting vultures, I think. Oh, wow, that's a huge battle going on over there. <laughs> I feel like the Sabertooth is about to die. Wow. Oh my goodness, what's with all the Dimorphs here? That's something I've definitely noticed about Ragnarok is that there's like hundreds of Dimorphs everywhere. I mean, look at this. There's like another five of them here. It's like the land of the dragons or something. It's super weird. <laughs> oh, 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 you guys, I spot a Listro. Are you a male? Please be a high level male. Oh, it's a 55 male. Hmm. I feel like we can do better than a 55 male, you guys. <laughs> Let's just keep looking. Okay, you guys, so we have a bunch of Listros over here. We have a 95 female. There's one over there. What are you? 55 male. Hmm. I feel like we can do better than that. We've got a 90 male, which is not bad. And we have, a, oh, we have 150 female, you guys. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Are you saying we could have a perfect tame Listro? Oh wow. Oh, we have a male 100 as well. <laughs> what do I do? I'm so confused. What do I do, guys? I, I'm so confused. You know what? Let's just tame this guy up. We can tame up the 150 and then we can bring them all back. And <laughs> we can have three Listros, you guys. That's going to be awesome. We did it! We tamed our Listro, you guys! That is awesome! Okay, here you go. Have some berries, and we'll put you on passive. And then let's just go over and tame up that 150 as well. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen 150 Listro in my life. That's insane, you guys! <laughs> You're gonna be amazing! What are we gonna name her? <gasps> we did it! We got 150 Listro! You guys, I don't know what to call it. What should we call it? There's way too much pressure. <laughs> um, um, 
Uh, oh no, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Listro. I got so excited there. Uh, let's just call you Lisa for now. Yeah, so let's just leave Lisa here for now and then we'll run back home with our other guy and then we can come back and pick Lisa up and hopefully nothing eats her in the meantime because guys, she tamed out at level 224. That's insane. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're back at base. We've got Lysa, we've got Lisa, and we've got Leonard. <laughs> so these guys are really, really awesome. So not only are they cute, but if you pet them, they actually give you so much more XP. So if you can see, some of the guys around us, they have a little arrow on their head, and that means that they're leveling up way faster. So if I'm crafting near these guys, I'll get a lot more XP for it too. So we'll be able to level up really, really quickly, which is awesome, you guys. So you guys, I feel like we've had quite a productive day. Like we didn't actually mess up at all today, which is awesome. We tamed up two Pteranodons. They're not super high level and they're not perfect tames or anything, but they will do. And we have Clyde as a backup just in case something happens with Bonnie, who by the way is level 145 right now. Isn't that amazing? I've just really been leveling up weight for her because I've been using her to gather stuff like metal and things, just so we can get started on crafting some stuff and building. And I'm super glad we have them. But to be honest, you guys, there's hundreds of pteranodons everywhere. Like everywhere you look, there's pteranodons. So I feel like we're going to find a 150 in perfect tame it pretty quickly. Yeah, so you guys, I already have six dodo eggs. So I feel like that's plenty of kibble to tame at least one perfect tame pteranodon. So that is definitely going to happen soon. And I think next time, like I said, I'm going to work on some building around here because I've kind of been ignoring it a little bit. So I've just been kind of caught up in taming stuff and it's just so fun, you guys. I feel like so far Ragnarok has been way more fun than the island or even the center has been for me. It's just so new and awesome and I can't wait until the devs finish this. All right, you guys, I hope you guys had fun today. I know it wasn't really a super exciting episode or anything, but... But you guys, we do need some of this downtime so that we can kind of get stuff done around the base. And I feel like we've accomplished a lot today, you guys. I mean, isn't my black armor awesome, you guys? I love it so much. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe for more. There's going to be a Ragnarok episode every single week along with Extinction Core and some indie games as well on my channel. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. And until next time, Admiral out. <laughs>